Hi friends, I am Ahmed Rashid. I have done my internship at Kerala Auto Mobiles Limited. Trivandra. I am Ignace Kumar. I have done my internship in Kuntal Granites Private Limited also. We have discussed about our companies, analyzed the important concept, and we have made it into a video for your view. Please see and support us. When we are going to take our case study, Rashid. I will take it right now, Ignesh. I come, we'll go. Hi friends, this is Rashid. I have done my internship at KAL, Kerala Automobiles Limited. It's a three-wheeler manufacturing company that's located at Kruandra. It comes under the automobile sector. As you all know, automobile sector is one of the most revenue gaining sector of the world. KL has around 5 lakh automobiles that is running over North India and other countries. So, KL holds 6% of shares in Indian market. After KL started in 1978 by the Kerala government, they mainly concentrated on the diesel engines with a production ratio of 58 vehicles per year. But today, uh, KL concentrates mainly on CNG. Uh, petrol and also solar engines and also they have a plan uh, to concentrate on electric engine with a production capacity of 6000 vehicles per year and also with a turnover of 50 crores the quality and durability of KL products have fetched them the markets in North India states like Delhi, Haryana, Rajasthan, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and also the same quality have fetched them uh, the foreign markets like uh, South Africa, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Pakistan, etc. And also, the quality is further proved. The quality of KL is further proved by the decision of ISRO to appoint KL as its major producer of uh, its external parts of rockets. Today, KL invests a lot of innovations, and they provide a lot of job opportunities for youngsters. And next, my friend. Vignesh Kumar will be explain about Kundal Granites. Hi friends, I am Vignesh Kumar. I have done my internship in Kundal Granites Private Limited also. It comes under the granite industry. The main function of the area in logistics function. The company concentrates more on export. Customer satisfaction is the main mode of the company. Which in turn of the company is established its domain in foreign countries such as USA, UK, South Africa, Europe, Canada, and Dubai. Kundal Granites established in the year 2010. Founder Mrs. Agnes Gandhi. He has an experience of over three decades in the granite industry. Items are Kundal Granites, 73 varieties of colors, which customer they can choose based on their taste of taste and preference. Kundal Granites is the only granite industry to use Italian machinery for production process. Production capacity has been improved from 78,000 to 150,000 square meters. The only Indian based company to own our quality certification for the employee safety. My internet control grenades helped me to analyze and realize the old scenario with book scenario. It have given me a handful of experience during the period. Asif, what do you feel about just in your company? Any changes after the implementation of just in your company?
the Granite University Artistic Development, Royal GST Rate 28%. Which before GST Rate was 49% uh, in Polish Granite Slabs. As higher taxes would impact labor Indians sector. As we wish, I do feel that's true. GC is not the same for all the industries. And uh, when you look at the game of care, GST have reduced the manufacturing cost of our automobiles, mainly the three wheelers. If you see, uh, look at this scenario here. There are a lot of taxes that have been submerged into a single tax. And here, when we, uh, when we see, uh, see through this, the taxes are debated on the consumption chain and not on the budget chain. This has, gives a boost to the automobile industry. And uh, they have a good growth after this GST. Hi Vicky, it was very nice to hear about GST. And uh, now can you explain me something about the quality policies prevailing in your company? Yeah, Rasit, so Kuntalagrana is sir, only Indian based company. Now, all the certification of employee safety. It has pre unit certification for the employee safety. We use epoxy chemical, granite slabs, shining, and uh, durability. Oh, that was nice. So what about KL, Rasit? Uh, if you see about KL, there's no compromise for quality. So, there are a lot of unique techniques that KL follows uh, to improve its quality. That's why KL is one of the major brands that uh, ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, have selected to manufacture its uh, parts, the external parts. So when you see about uh, KL auto automobiles and uh, mainly in the manufacturing of three-wheelers, we have a very different uh, unique qu quality policy. So first of all, we have a test flight, which is done in the inspection of an uh, inspector quality inspector and where we have uh, the tires of autos fixed into rollers and then we are ride we are ride the autos to a speed of 60 kilometers per hour for 10 minutes and we check the four uh, gear system so if the four gears are applied uh, correctly and properly and the autos auto moves without any problem for 10 minutes then the, the gear systems are okay with the brake system and after that, we go for a new test that is called the water test. The water test is something that the auto rickshaws are, are ridden on a surface of water where the auto rickshaws should not tilt, they should not fall down. So this is the quality that uh, KL provides unique from its uh, competitors. So here, when we, when we see this pro uh, process in KL, there is uh, a distance, the gap between the tyre and the base of the uh, KL auto rickshaws are large so that the auto rickshaws goes in a steady smooth way in water flow. so there is no possibility of uh, drifting the uh, auto rickshaws in water good to have some unique quality policy Asit, do you suggest ERP implementation in your company? no Yi, I don't suggest an ERP implementation in my company because the current system working in my company does a pretty good job and uh, my company being a tier 2 company cannot invest a lot of money on ERP because they have to invest a lot of money on R&D for their development and uh, when uh, seeing uh, the scena current scenarios ERP is important but uh, the investment on ERP uh, is the main point why my company do not invest on ERP so I don't suggest an ERP implementation in my company it was very nice to hear on ERPs Vignesh, now can you tell me about the career growth of employees in your company? Yes, Rashid. There is no sudden growth possible in my company. Oh. At least there should be 5 years experience to get a promotion. Okay. Even if a talent person have to 3 years wait for promotion. Oh. So, your company is similar to my company. So, in my company, there are around uh, 2,313 employees and only 159 of them or permanent employees and all others are temporary employees and uh, according to my company policy uh, if an employee works for only 10 years they become a permanent employee or else they, be, uh, they become a temp only a temporary employee and only for permanent employees the government uh, gives the salary according to government norms they are paid 
and for all the temporary employees, the board pays the salary. So, the same thing. In my company also, there's no sudden growth possible. Only if you become a permanent employee, the board promotes you to the next stage. Unless you become the permanent employee, you will be in the same stage where you are entering the company. So, both our companies have the same uh, career uh, growth, I think, for the employees. We keep just uh, great listening about our companies and discussing about the uh, various factors that happen in your company. And uh, now I think it's uh, time to discuss uh, some of our production processes. First, I will discuss about the production process. Please try your sleep, Okay, thank you. Kundal Granites. I am going to explain about the production process in Kundal Granites. One of the biggest granite industries in India, located at Usu. With an employee strength of over 500 employees, they purely concentrate on exports. They export to countries like USA, UAE, Europe, Australia, Oman and Dubai. They provide the customers with 70 varieties of colors. Coming to the production process, in Kuntal Granites. The first one is wire saw. It's a machine that dresses the four sides of the rock with the help of wires. So the next machine is Gans saw. This machine is used to cut the rock into slabs. It takes two and a half days to cut a slab. And here, you see the output we get after the Gansa cutting the slabs. This trolley shifts from one place to another. Polishing automatic loaders is a loader that uh, loads the slabs for polishing. There are heavy cranes used for this process. Resining is the process name of polishing. This uses epoxy chemical to polish the slabs. This polishing mechanism is controlled by cubic zone software. The trimming unit is used to cut the slabs and make all slabs equal. The slabs are being unfolded for the two times for resining and polishing. This time the epoxy chemical is applied manually in a huge quantity to make the shine of the slabs. The edges are cut automatically to level the slabs. The logistics team loads them uh, to containers and makes sure they are damage proof. Thank you for listening to the production process of Kundal Granites. Uh, that was uh, nice hearing about your company and I have learned a lot of uh, processes that happen in your company. The main logistic activities that happen in your company and all the production process that happen in the granite industry. I think uh, Kuntal Granite is one of the largest granite industry in India. So you come and please take your seat and uh, I will explain you about the production process in KA. Right? So, there's a lot of difference between the production process of a granite industry and the production process in an automobile industry. So, I'm going to explain you about the production process that happens in KA, Kerala Automobiles Limited, the three-wheeler manufacturing company in uh, Trivandrum. Kale, one of India's top three-wheel brands, is known for its 
quality and the German technology that is used for production. There are around 2,313 employees and an overall turnover of 50 crores. They produce their raw material from scrap with the robotic technology, they sharpen and flatten it. Then they use the pressure machine to modify and model the outer cover. The pressure machine can be used for 12 different purposes. The engines are bought from governmental agencies and they are then fitted with CNG nozzles that are produced in KAL. The hydraulic painting is, used, is painted with the help of machines so that the vehicle does not rust. Four coatings of painting is practiced. Then the cases of auto rickshaws are fixed with tires and the spare parts that are manufactured in other plants. All KAL auto rickshaws have only a front engine. The brakes and the gear systems are fixed in the vehicle. Then they are subjected to the test ride where the auto rickshaws are fixed in the rollers and they are driven at 60 km speed for 10 minutes and all four gears are checked. Then the company follows its own unique style of quality test which is confidential. After this the auto rickshaws are ready for delivery. It was nice hearing about KL from you. I too learned a lot on the automobile industries. Thanks Vicky, you did a pretty good job. I heard you telling about ISRO. How is it sent your company Rashid? Yes Vignesh, uh, ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, this is a, uh, it has selected uh, KAL as one of its uh, main brands for producing of the external parts of rockets. This is due to the durability of uh, KAL auto rickshaws, the material, the material durability of KAL. So here how it's a strength to my company is after the entering of ISRO, the product diversification of my company has uh, improved a lot. The innovation in my company have improved a lot. First we are only concentrating on diesel engines but after the entrance of ISRO, we have started concentrating on uh, petrol engines, uh, CNG, compressed national gas engines, then we are uh, concentrating on solar uh, auto rickshaws and also on electrical auto rickshaws. So the innovation gap is a very much a big, a big innovation gap is there. And also because of the entrance of ISRO, a lot of people are getting job opportunities in KAL due to this innovation. So these are all the strengths that ISRO produce in KAL. Vicky, we have discussed a lot about our companies and uh, now can we discuss about the wastage and uh, the wastage management system that is followed in your company? Yes, wastage is an important issues in my company. There is a huge amount of wastage in day-to-day -day process. Uh, this wastage cannot be minimized. So, you know in KL, we also have a lot of wastage. Uh, around uh, 72 lakhs raw materials are uh, uh, being wasted in our, my company. And uh, only if my company uh, uh, take some uh, remedies to it or they, if they recycle these things uh, they can uh, manage this waste or else uh, there is no other uh, process of uh, managing this waste uh, in my company they use scrap but the raw materials that they have bought before 1990s before 1990s are uh, still a waste in my company which are around uh, 72 lakhs so the company should take some remedies to do, uh, do uh, to manage this waste Rashid, if you bring in innovation Wastage can be minimized in Kuntal Granites. Yeah, yeah, Vignesh. I too 
think you have you have to suggest this point in your company because uh, nowadays uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, marble pieces and granite pieces that are being wasted in marble and granite companies and uh, if you make the small pieces we sharpen and uh, shape in this pieces it can be used for internal designing in foreign countries like uh, dubai the countries which are uh, well developed so the waste can be managed and uh, the, your company will have a new diversity of product so that uh, your company can get profit from uh, both the ways so you have you should have suggested this it's a great uh, finding vicky it was a great time working with you and uh, we have discussed a lot about our company and uh, it's time to thank each and every one who have helped us to complete this video thanks to the almighty for showering his blessings over us i thank the uh, company hr of k mr ajay kumar kuntal granite hr mr sendil kumar thanks to our director mrs palarmadi to providing this wonderful opportunities thanks to our guide mrs dr uma mageshwari and mr n sundara pandian thanks to all the faculties and my student friends for help me in completing this video i thank you all bye viewers see you again with the next video it's signing off from rashid and